like to explain a little bit about how the cool cube works in a server room. Here we're looking at a stacked configuration uh, of two. The cool cube can be stacked as, as high as four. And uh, it requires a very small footprint, as you can see. And each unit is 115 volts, 15 amps. So you're not required to have a high voltage. This is a typical computer rack. It draws in cold air through the front to cool off your, your servers. The exhaust warm comes out of the back of the racks. And on the cool cube, you can see that the uh, this shows the heat removal would go from the from the, draws in and removes the heat from the room by ducting it up into the drop down ceiling away from the uh, closet. And this shows the supply air. The cold air is blown onto the computer rack's front door. And that's pretty typical, uh, the standard configuration. Here you're looking at a rack mounted configuration. The cool cube is at the bottom of the rack. Um, it only uses 13 U of space. Return air is this area here, and then the cold air is blown from this little deflection piece that just goes in front of the servers and then up. The warm air is exhausted out the back of the servers in the back. The uh, exhaust or the heat removal comes up from the back of the cool cube up the back of the rack and then up into the ceiling space. Here you're looking at a ceiling mounted uh, ceiling mounted unit and you'll see the the cool cube is mounted above the server room and here you have the condenser airflow comes in through the back of the unit and then you have your supply air, your cold air comes down, flows in front of the server rack, gets drawn in through the rack, and then out the back. And here you'll see the, the return air goes in from, from the room, from the back of the, uh, the server rack, and then goes up and ex comes back out. So um, this is a typical ceiling mount application.